Remember, we have great opportunities, great opportunities to bless. Sometimes I wonder if we do enough in our administration of the sick. You know, when the disciples tried to cast out a dumb spirit, they couldn't do it. Or they didn't do it. The master came along, and he immediately cast out the dumb spirit. Then the disciples said, why could not we cast him out? And what did Christ say? This kind cometh not out save by fasting and by prayer. Sometimes we rush in, minister to a person, rush out and say, well, he won't make it. I know he won't. Of course, we have to, in the case of an emergency, go immediately. But sometimes I wonder if we have a little time, if we shouldn't do a little fasting. This kind cometh not out save by fasting and by prayer. A little over a year ago, a couple came into my office carrying a little boy. Father said to me, my wife and I have been fasting for two days. We brought our little boy up for a blessing, and you're the one we've been sent to. I says, what's the matter with him? Said he was born blind, deaf, he's dumb, no coordination of his muscles, can't even crawl, five years old. And I said, well, to myself, I says, this is it. This kind cometh not out save by fasting and by prayer. And I had implicit faith in the fasting and the prayers of those parents. And I blessed that child. A few weeks later, I received a letter. Brother Cowley, we wish you could see our little boy now. He's crawling. When we throw a ball across the floor, he races after it on his hands and knees. He can see. When we clap our hands over his head, he jumps. He can hear. Medical science had laid the burden down. God had taken over. The little boy rapidly recovering, or getting what he had never had, not recovering. 